Hi, I'm uh, Jacob, one of the founders of Commune, and today I'm going to give you a tour of some of my massage tools. Um, Self-massage for me is a daily morning practice. I roll out of bed, roll onto the floor, and generally one of these is nearby and I roll around. Um, generally, I'm, I'm still too asleep to do a sitting meditation and still too cold and stiff and not awake to do a yoga practice. Um, so this is... It's meditative, but it also really helps optimize my body for movement, for yoga, for rock climbing, for dancing, for anything I'm doing around the property here. Um, self-massage or self-myofascial release, as you might sometimes hear it called in fancy terms, uh, is great. So why is it great? One of the reasons is you're, you're working into trigger points and you can think of trigger points as small areas of muscle that are malfunctioning and they need a reboot. So when you have a ball that compresses um, some muscle, you're actually you know, pushing fluids out of that area and then fresh blood comes into the area. Um, also, you know, all the muscles that you see in an anatomy textbook are mushed into this skin sausage that we have. And those muscles have thousands and thousands of sliding surfaces that have to slide past one another to, to work optimally. And sometimes those surfaces will get stuck or adhered. And so um, self-massage can help break up those adhesions. So um, the, the core to any self-massage set, and really all you need is, is a set of, of balls. So I have a lacrosse ball here. I have a rubber bouncy ball. You know, the rubber bouncy ball is great for working under your feet. Um, you know, you can have more specialized, this is a yoga tune-up massage ball, um, but balls, balls are you, are, you can do pretty much everything with balls. Uh, this is a three inch foam ball, also great. I'll put it in my belly and lie on it, um, which is a really great way to get your digestive system going in the morning. But then we have some more specialized tools. This is a MA roller, M-A roller. It's just a, a piece of wood that is shaped a certain way. I like to lie down so that my spine is going right down the middle and uh, roll up and down my back. Or I'll also put it under my thighs for a calf massage. Um, where to go next? This is just a really nice foam roller equivalent that my friend brought me back from Thailand. It's wood in the center, so it's firm, but it, it's also a little bit soft. Uh, this is called a Sewrite. It's a psoas massager. So, you know, I would say that 90% of what I do, I do with balls, but there's just a few areas of the body that you can't get to with a ball. So this is actually designed to go deep into your abdomen and get to your psoas muscle, which I could talk for a long time about the psoas muscle. Another difficult area to massage is your forearms. So this is an arm aid. It actually straps to your leg and then you kind of clamp your arm in it and can massage both sides of your arm. I got this when I started rock climbing. It's really great. And then uh, my two neck torture devices are both, oh, I just give these to people and they just go, uh, um, this one, and then this is a smaller specialized version. But you know, all these fancy tools are great, but I still also find myself doing things like cutting a piece of electrical conduit. And then I use this all the time also for sitting on in between my legs. So really things you can find around the house sharp edges or, or maybe not quite so sharp, but edges you rub up against. Um, the world is full of self-massage tools when you know how to look.